What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing our tear on the rank regulation F ladder, but this time using a Swift Swim Kingdra team. Now Kingdra, one of my favorite Pokemon to use on rain team considering it is super fast due to its ability. On top of that, its special attacking move set and special attacking stat is ridiculous. So absolutely love this Pokemon and love the moves that it's learned. Kingdra is rocking the life orb in today's video with an amazing move set of Muddy Water for Stab, Draco Meteor for big time stab damage, and last but not least, the best coverage move for Kingdra is going to be Hurricane. Hurricane is 100% accurate in the rain, and most of the time, Kingdra is thriving out in the rain, so it just works so perfectly with what Kingdra is trying to accomplish. Right next to Kingdra is going to be its best friend. We got Politoed rocking a drizzle ability, so every time it hops onto the field, the rain is going to start. We got Citrus Berry as its item, Rock and Helping Hand to boost Kingdra's damage. On top of that, it's got Muddy Water, Parasong, which actually comes in clutch in certain situations. And last but not least, it has Protect. Other Pokemon on today's team, we got Rillaboom, we got Incineroar. Incineroar could drop attack stats, Rillaboom could set terrain and do some big time grass damage in that terrain. And furthermore, they both have Fake Out, so two Fake Out users on today's team. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Choice Band Scissor for big time physical attacking damage and Choice Specs Raging Bolt. So two Choice Pokemon, one on the physical attacking side, one on the special attacking side. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Kingdra team. It's time for our first match, and we're really hoping this Tornadus right here is not rocking sunny day. And honestly, it could have sunny day on it over rain ends, but I'm really hoping it does not. So honestly, I'm gonna lead our Politoed, I'm gonna lead our Kingdra, and we're gonna look to get after here in this first match. Pokemon that I believe they're gonna lead is going to be some sort of Tornadus and another Pokemon. It could lead Frigga Wrap and maybe try to pop Trick Room, but that Frigga Wrap kind of looks like a Trick Room counter more than a Trick Room setter. So from here, are back to Pokemon. I definitely want to bring a choice Pokemon and I'm kind of leaning towards Raging Bolt because Raging Bolt, if we have Rain Thriving, has Thunder and Thunder's hitting 100% of the time in that rain. So I honestly really like that. I do like it a lot. So I'm going to go Raging Bolt and our last Pokemon is going to be Scizor. We could go double choice here. I don't mind the double choice. I don't mind the double choice. I really don't. You know, I'm going to go into the double choice Pokemon. We're going to look to rip after it. I like it. I do like it. I do like it. So let's see who they end up leading here and how they're going to play this. If they lead Tornadus, I don't know if they're going to, if they have Sunny Day. Again, I'm really hoping no Sunny Day be in our best interest and we can really just start driving out from there. Because I'm making that prediction that you do not have Sunny Day. But after looking at the team, Sunny Day seems like a solid move on it. You get Protosynthesis boost from the Walking Wake, from the Flutter Main. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I might swap Polly to a turn one. I might just swap Polly to a turn one if that thing's gonna go for a Sunny Day. Let's just see who they do. Because if they lead a Pokemon like Fluttermane or Walking Wake, it kind of leads me to believe they're gonna pop the Sunny Day. So we'll see who their lead is first before we any before we make any decisions. But I'm just I'm just thinking ahead. They end up leading Fluttermane and yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Fluttermane and Tornasi. I think I'm gonna have to swap Polly to here. I'm gonna swap Polly to Um, I do have Terra type on my Kingdra. I believe it's Steel. I believe it's Steel. Steel's actually not bad. Steel is not bad. If I want to Thrasilize it, right? You're Steel? Yeah, you are Steel. So I might just want to Thrasilize it. Do I want to swap this thing? I kind of want to swap it into, like, Scizor. I think Scizor would be so perfect. Yeah, I'm going to swap it into Scizor here. I'm going to Thrasilize you, and... I am just going to drop a Muddy Water. Because if they don't change weather, then... We should be thriving pretty well. I'm gonna swap the Politoed just in case they want to change up weather. From here, we'll drop a Muddy Water. We will get Scissor on the field too, which is a great Pokemon up against these guys. And we're gonna Thrasilize into Steel. So Steel is just a perfect defensive type for what they have out here right now. So I got two Steel types on the field. King Trout ready to roll. Ready to roll. And it should be faster than at least the Tornadus right now. Unless he's popping a Tailwind. Let's see. Now, you do have Sunny Day. You do have Sunny Day. You son of a biscuit. So, Sunny Day is going to come out here. I still have Bullet Punch ready to go. He's going to Dazzle Gleam. Solid Terror types on our end. Muddy Water is going to do like negative six damage, right? Not bad. It got a crit. They get a crit. And we do get an accuracy drop. So, that's pretty good. So, from here, Fluttermane is on the field. And we can make a hard read of them swapping out into, say, like Entei or even Walking Wake. 
let's be honest here. So I might just want to go into like, I don't even know. I just want to U-turn pivot here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. What's your speed? What's your speed? Because I'd rather swap into like a sun Pokemon. Or, or I'd rather swap into weather. I gotta check these speeds of these guys. I want Scissor to be faster than Kingdra, but I doubt it is. 109, 108, yeah. Um, you know, we're just gonna hard swap Scissor here, hoping that they're hard swapping the uh, the Flutter main. I'm just gonna hope Muddy Water can KO. Let's see what they end up doing here. Yep, there's their withdrawal onto Flutter main. We're now gonna withdraw our Scissor. Who are they bringing out here? Maybe Entei? Gonna be Walking Wake. So Walking Wake does come out here. We are hard swapping Scissor right now. We're getting rid of all these Protosynthesis moves. We're getting rid of the Sun. We're not dealing with it. I doubt you're popping Sunny Day again here. I really doubt it, but that would honestly be smart if you do. There's no way you do. There's no way. There's just no shot. There's just no shot. He protects. Okay, so Smart Protect comes out on their end. That's a real Smart Protect. And now we're just gonna have to hard swap Politoed again. Yep, we are hard swapping Politoed, and we're just gonna protect. And of course, Walking Week dodged that. So yeah, we're gonna have to hard swap Politoed again. We're gonna have to bring out a Pokemon that can actually get some work done onto their Walking Week. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna protect you. The chances are you're going for a Sunny Day again and a Flamethrower. So <laughs> let's be honest here. We're gonna have to swap here, figure something out. We might wanna swap Kingdra and just save it for the back end. Honestly, Steel is just not looking good for us. So I protect the Kingdra. We're going to have to look to get rid of the Walking Wake. And this is just a full-blown Weather War right now. Weather War is getting after it. It's getting after it right now. The weather is getting after it. So we need to get rid of Walking Wake here. Special attacks going to get boosted. Show me Flamethrower into the Kingdra slot. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Hydro Steam. That works. Is that into the Kingdra slot? It is. Okay, that works. So that works out for us. Um... From here, now we could just go into a Draco Meteor here. And look to just take out Walking Wake. And swap into Polytoad. Yeah, I'm cool with that. A little bit of Polytoad swap. Even though they might pop a sunny day here. We have to force the weather out here. And more so just swap out King Turn. Swapping into Scissor is really not the play. I'd rather swap into Polytoad. A bit more bulkier. So the rain is back on the field. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. We're going to see a Terra type pop out here from Walking Wake or Tornadus. I think it might be Tornadus. No, it is going to be Walking Wake, which kind of sucks, man. Which kind of sucks. It's going to go straight water. It's going straight water. Now, Hydro Steam gets boosted in the rain or the sun. Actually, it might just be only in the sun, but I don't know. Protect comes out from you. And if you didn't Thrasilize, we had a great turn on our hands. We had a great turn on our hands. Dragon Pulse going to fly in this slot. We should soak that. We do. We do. This thing is life form. Dragon Meteor gonna fly here. And it KOs. You, I like this turn. I like that turn. So now, from here, we are going to swap our Politoed into Scizor, correct? We need to swap Politoed here because Sunny Day not looking good for us. Let's see who they go into. It's a real question. Who could they potentially go into? They don't have Terra anymore, which is good. Hopefully, it's Flutter Me. And it is going to be fun to me. So, yeah, Scizor definitely getting a swap for Politoed. I'm just going to try to reset things here. And I could go for a Thunderclap. Oh, no, I'm choosing Draco Meteor. Well, I mean, you're going to die out anyway. Let's just swap you into Scizor here. Just so I can have Bullet Punch ready to rock. Because now you can't Terror type. You can swap, but this is such a good match. This is such a good match. This Weather War is insane. We're going crazy on the Weather War. So many weather swaps. There's the sunny day. <laughs> it's out and about. <laughs> I'm surprised they actually went for Sunny Day there. I kind of had two Pokemon that really weren't doing much. There's that. Dazzling Gleam is probably going to fly out from Flutter Main. And yeah, I'm kind of fine with this turn. I'm kind of fine with just going into Kingdra this turn rather than Politoed. If I go into Kingdra here, I got two Steel types on the field. I could Bullet Punch to KO. I could Bullet Punch to KO the Flutter Main. Um... Furthermore, I could just drop a Draco Meteor. We'll lower my special, or my yeah, we'll lower my special attack. But I can finally get rid of you. That's gonna be my plan. I'm gonna do that, and yeah, I'm just gonna choice to do a bull punch here. I think now's the time to do it. 
If you withdraw, you withdraw, no big deal. And you just protect, that's fine. So he's gonna protect here. Are you gonna double protect? I don't know. They don't double protect. But Bull Punch gonna fly here. It's gonna get blocked. Draco Meter's also going to fly here. And if Draco Meter can just pick up KO here, well, that actually did some big time damage onto my Scissor. If Draco Meter can KO here, I can now just hard swap my Kingdra into Politoed. Have rain for the rest of the match. Eventually bring Kingdra back out. And then go from there. This is such a good match. This is such a good match. So we still have Scissor on the field. A little bit of HP. Who is our final Pokemon? That's the real question. Who you got cooking here? Who's your final Pokemon? Who is it? It's gonna be Urshifu. Dark style. Dark style all day. So now we swap you into you. Now we go for Bullet Punch all day into Fluttermane. And if it does not land us Double Protect, it is a goner. It is a goner. And we got fingers crossed because Double Protect could screw us over. A little bit of RNG gonna come into effect here. Unless, hopefully, it's just not going for Double Protect. Let's see. Let's see what you got here, Fluttermane. What are you doing? Oh, you got Sucker Punch. All right. I feel you. I see you. I don't think they have Tailwind up on the field. But Sucker Punch could also do me dirty here as well. So I could maybe set a Parish Song. Is that really our best bet? It sucks because Sucker Punch might KO my Kingdra here. Sucker Punch might KO my Kingdra. Wow, this is coming down to it. And to be honest, I got to go Helping Hand Muddy Water here. They don't have Tailwind up, do they? They don't. And your post synthesis is gone. So yeah, you should be fastest on the field, Kingdra. Correct? You're like 118, was it? Yeah, 118. Doubled. As long as you eat up this... As long as you eat up this Sucker Punch, we should win this game. But I don't know if you eat up this Sucker Punch. This was such a good matchup. Win or lose, like I said. Win or lose. So we go for the Helping Hand here. Sucker Punch, please don't KO. Don't do me dirty. And you're not even going for it. And who's dodging this? Who dodged this? You're stashed, aren't you? Come on, man. Fluttermane should be dead. I should be winning this match. No problem. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. I do have Citrus Berry, which is pretty good here. Citrus Berry is rather nice. But I don't know how this one's going to work out here. Because you're going to KO me with Wicked Blow, aren't you? Yep. That really hurts. That really hurts. That really hurts that we lose this match like that. Because Fluttermane should be dead there. And it should be a 1v1. And being a 1v1, Politoed, I would think, could eat up a Wicked Blow from... From what's it called? From that Urshifu. Honestly, I don't know. It would, really would have came down to the wire. But missing a Muddy Water, such a solid match all the time. But they're going to Moonblast me. They're going to hit me with a Wicked Blow here. That's going to be game set match. Plus, I got a special attack drop. That sucks, man. But there's the Wicked Blow. That's game. Maybe I should have went for a double Muddy Water with Kingdra and Politoed instead of helping hand Muddy Water. Should have maybe realized that there is a chance for that Pokemon to be Sash. And we should have sent a double hitting move because if I would have actually done that, Urshifu would have died. We would have actually dropped Fluttermane down to a decent amount of damage. Then with that Citrus Berry, all we would have needed to do was land another Muddy Water. So maybe that was the better play, to be honest. But still, upset that we lost that match because it was such a good match all around. Swapping in and out. Our opponent, our opponent played so good at that one. But we're hopping into our next match. Going up against an Inteleon team with Incineroar. Love me some Incineroar. They also have, what is that Pokemon? Raging Bolt alongside with um, Thunderous. And then they got Landers in their incarnate form with Ogre Pond. So from here, Intimidate's not that bad onto like Ogre Pond. But everybody else is special attacking. Do you have Parting Shot? You do. So that could be pretty good. Do we want to lead it? Maybe, maybe not. Or I could just lead straight up Rain. But then they could have Eerie Impulse. We don't like Eerie Impulse. We don't, we just don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like Eerie Impulse. Putting me to minus two, it's just a big time problem. It really is. But you know what? I'm gonna say screw it. We're gonna go into these guys anyway. We're just gonna look to rip after this. Cause honestly, if they cannot Eerie Impulse me, we can just dominate this match. So I'm gonna go into both of them. I'm gonna bring Incineroar in the back end. And last but not least, we are gonna go Raging Bolt with the choice specs. Love it, love it, love it. Again, I'm bringing Incineroar into the rain, but still Intimidate and Fake Out could really clutch up for us late late in the game 
But yeah, that first match, that was so good. I think I swapped, we swapped weathers like five or six times. I was just like, yeah, you're going to pop Sunny Day. I'm swapping my Polytoad again. And I was like, oh, you got the sun out? Let me bring Polytoad back on the field. And he was just like, oh, you brought Polytoad back on the field? Let me pop Sunny Day again. So it was just going back and forth. And honestly, that was just such a solid match all around. But they end up leading these two. Kind of annoying. Um, I do have Rain Set, which is pretty well. Um, Thunderbolt and stuff like that could be a big time threat to us. Eerie Impulse looking rather annoying here as well. And honestly... I think I'm just going to go Helping Hand Draco Meteor. I think this is going to be my play. Who's going to end up Terrasalizing? Who Terrasalizing? You Terrasalize and Rage of Bolt here. Son of a biscuit. Is that Fairy? No, it's Electric. So he's looking for some big time damage here. This Is, is this Rising Voltage kind of like what we did with Electric Terrain? This could be bad news for us. This could be bad news for us. I don't think Kingdra can one-shot this thing if it's not a super effective shot. Yeah, he's going for Rising Voltage. We can say bye-bye to Polytoon. We're hoping we don't have any Impulse, to be honest. But now comes the terrain. Rising Voltage doing some massive damage. You're going for Thunderclap instead. Oh, we love it. We love it. We love it. Draco Meteor flying. How much damage are we doing? We KO and Oh, we love it. We love it. We love it. That's a hot start for us. That's a hot start for us. I didn't think we'd KO, but still. It went for thunderclap into Polytoad. We said, nah, son, we already used Helping Hand. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. So I'm now minus two here. Incineroar's gonna fly through here. Um, I think now it's just a solid turn to actually just swap Kingdra. Let's be honest, because if they're gonna fake out and maybe use like your Impulse or something like that. Again, it's our best bet to probably just swap this into like you. And then maybe just try to throw a Muddy Water Cross onto the field. Especially in the rain, you can't Terrasalize anymore. We love it. We love it. So there's a big time swap from us going into the Raging Bolt. If I could drop some Thunders with this thing, that'd be awesome. Fake Out is going to go into the Raging Bolt slot. No big deal here. And Thunderbolt is going to fly into you, which you should soak. Yeah, I was going to say. You have nice special defense stats. And you got Citrus Berry, which means you could soak another one of those Thunderbolts. We love you. Muddy Water is now going to fly, and it's connecting. We're not missing this time. Muddy Water, big time damage onto Incineroar. Solid damage onto Thunderous. I mean, he could Thunderbolt me if he wants to. I could go for a Thunderclap. I think we just rip a Thunder into that slot. No problem. No problem. We go Thunder. We know you're Prankster. And then I could just go into this. The Thunder's laying 100% of the time. And there's Eerie Impulse. Finally pops out. I'm very happy that it didn't happen turn one. The Thunder's still flying here. What's the choice specs? My KO. Yeah, it's still doing ridiculous amount of damage. We are still popping off with that Thunder. So now we finally get rid of that Pokemon. Cinnamon's gonna go for a knockoff. Take off our choice specs. So now we can actually use Thunderclap if we want to. Muddy Water's gonna pick up the KO. Polytoad's ripping. We love Polytoad KOs. We love a good old Polytoad KO. You don't get them often, but, but every here and there you'll get a big time Polytoad KO. Usually when you're getting Polytoad KOs, you're winning the match. The Polytoad picking up a KO there. We still have Kingdra in the back end. We have Raging Bolt flying here. Um, they only have one more Pokemon left, and it's going to be Ogre Pond. Fire Ogre Pond in the rain. And this is where I swap. This is where I swap. Actually, do I swap Polytoad instead? He might just be going for Horn Leech. Let's be honest here. I'm going to go for Draco Meteor. He might just be going for I could Parasol. Yeah, might as well. Terrasalize Parasol. Let's do it. If they want to stay on here, they only got three turns left, and then I can just start protecting. Playing this one simple. Because I would think they'd be going for a Horn Leech instead of an Ivy Cudgel this turn. And if they do go for an Ivy Cudgel, we should be able to eat it up in the rain. And yeah, there's the Horn Leech. So good swap on our end. Or well, not good swap, good Terror Titan. Draco Meteor's going to fly here. Not bad damage. And next turn, we can swap the Raging Bolt and just protect the Polytoad. There's the Parasong, just to wrap up this match. Three turns till you die, kind sir. Three turns till you die. Three turns till you die. So now I'm going to swap the Raging Bolt into Incineroar. We can fake out, waste a turn. It's easy, man. You should just cancel the battle. You should just cancel the battle. I'm going to protect, swap into Incineroar, and I would think they canceled the battle. No. They said they, they liked our odds. I think they have a negative 3% chance of winning this game. Maybe negative 10 at this point, because Incineroar's out of the field. Intimidating, fake out, wasting turns. 
Because what I'm actually going to do here is just fake out next turn. And then just protect Politoed again next turn. It's fine. I can fake out, waste a turn, then protect, waste another turn. Nice little Parasong. Parasong and fake out go together so well. Because you just waste turns super quickly. Super quickly. Super quick. It's too easy. It's too easy. So out comes fake out. Can you cancel a match now? And we'll go for Muddy Water here. Yes, as well. And finally, they cancel the match, knowing their Parasong is about to end. Moving on to our final match, and I love this team right here. Going up against the Infernape squad. Infernape, so dope, you don't get to see it too much on the rank ladder. So every time I do verse it, I always want our opponent bringing it. But from here, looks like they have no weather. Actually, they could. Wimscott. Wimscott could set Sunny Day. I don't know if it is Rocket Sunny Day. I kind of hope it's not Rocket Sunny Day. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. I'm going to get ripping with both of these guys. So both of them are going to come in here in the back end. I do kind of like this sizzle i do kind of like this sizzle we got close combat can deal with the ting a little bit we also have bullet punch to deal with the whimsicott i don't mind that i don't mind that like i kind of like incinor here as well hmm we haven't brought in Roboom yet but i don't think we really want Roboom here do we want Roboom? fake out grass train's not bad he's not bad let me see your stats real quick dog let me see these stats. HP, special defense, a little bit in attack. Man. Hmm. I do like the bolt. I'm going to bring the rage bolt, especially with choice specs. And last but not least, I think we go roll boom. I think we keep roll boom a nice little shot here. Yeah, we don't really want to pop defiant with, in, or with annihilate. So, let's just not bring it to them. I just realized they have double monkey. Infernape, annihilate. Double eight. Double eight power. Looking kind of scary. Hopefully they lead both the monkeys. I would like both the apes, I should say. Are apes different than monkeys? I don't know. Gotta do some research on my on my animal facts. They go Wimscott and Annihilate. So beat up combo could pop out here. They could pop Sunny Day if they want to here as well. Um do I take the risk and go for a hurricane into the Wimsicott? I'd rather Hurricane into Annihilate, let's be honest here. And then just swap you into maybe you? Or even Raging Bolt. I mean, I'd rather go into you. Because I'm going to swap... I'm going to swap Annihilate here. Okay. You're going to go into Gary the Garrios. That's actually good that we brought out... Uh, dang, actually Raging Bolt would have been a bit better. But still, Intimidate's going to come out here and not really do much here. And we're swapping Polito just in case Sunny Day wants to pop out here from Women's Scott. You never really know. You never really know. So we get out the Robum here. Let's see what he wants to do. Let's see what you got cooking here. You know, for eight. Ooh, we don't like that. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. At least Hurricane's still landing, but not going to do too much damage here. You know, crazy ducks? No ducks. No ducks pop. So we do get back a little bit of HP here. Um. We're gonna double down into Wimscott at this point. Fake out, take out combo here. My favorite combo. The fake out, take out combo. We get a crit on the fake out. And Hurricane should be able to take this cotton ball away, right? Yeah, cool. So the fake out, take out combo works pretty well here. They do get off a of light train, which kind of annoys me. And Gyarados is ready to attack. What you got cooking here, Gyarados? What you gonna do here? You're gonna. You hate Underwaves. I hate being paralyzed. So now we're paralyzed out here. They could bring back out the ape of Annihils. So we are paralyzed a little. Um, they don't have Reflect, which is good. So Robum can still do some big-time damage. Annihilate does come out here. And I could see a nice big-time terror popping out from Annihilate. And honestly, I'm going to read that. I'm going to read a nice little fire terror here. I'm just going to drop Muddy Water across the field. I'm going to Muddy Water. I'm also going to go into a Wood Hammer here just to make sure Gyarados goes down here. And take it out. So yeah, I'm reading a fire terror here all day. Right? There's no way you just seen that hurricane. You're just like, hey, I'm going to stay in here. Not to rationalize. I'm reading a fire terror all day. I'm reading a fire terror all day. Which are all the Gyarados? That's fine. Who are you going to go into here? Who's taking this wood hammer? Ting Lu. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> we don't mind Ting Lu. I get the drop in special attack. But still, I don't mind Ting Lu. And out comes the fire terror. 
Am I the goat? Did I just predict this? The fire terror? Ice terror? Ice? What are you- Ice? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> ice terror? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Muddy water gonna fly here. Ice terror? Actually doing a lot of damage. We got a crit on Tonali. Thank you. Thank you, Poke Gods. This thing's gonna bulk up. It's fine. You can do your little bulk up action. I'm gonna say bye bye to this Ting Lu. Ting Lu, do me a favor. Get on out of here. Now he's gonna intimidate me again. We should hard swap Rillaboom. We can eventually fake out later. Um, maybe get hard swap into Polytoad at this point. Ice Terra? What is that? Who does that? Who does such a thing? Such a devious thing. Ice Terror. Yo, look at Kingdra's face. He's just staring into Nileep's soul. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Check it out, guys. Look at this thing. Oh, now he's staring into Gyarados' soul. Wait till it looks at Nileep. Looks pissed, yo. <laughs> he looks so upset. Kingdra looks so upset. So, Intimidate comes out here. Um, We're going to keep Kingdra on the field here. We can get off some damage. We can get off some damage. Um, Muddy Water doing more damage than Draco Meteor. In the rain. Accuracy's kind of low. Breaker Meteor is big time stab damage. I'm trying to do the Calx here. I kind of like Muddy Water just because it's double hitting move. Actually, we kind of want to try to get rid of this thing. If I get rid of Annihilate, we win this all day. So I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to swap into Polythoid here. Get my attack stat back and have Fake Out for later too. Fake Out could be clutch. Plus we're trying to waste out some uh, screen turns. I don't see how this one plays. The Polytoad out on the field. Not D Dance, yo. Chill on me. D Dance coming out here, and I. I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. Frame punch flying through here. Now you get some HP back. Oh my lord. We're gonna have to pair a song up. We need a little pair song. We need it. We need to perish this song. We need to perish this song. Protect you, perish song. We need to perish song. <laughs> we need perish song. We actually used it in the last match, but this time we definitely need it. Last match we didn't need it. We need it now. We need to set the perish song. We need to set it. Get some protection on, some fake outs ready to go. We need this perish song out and about. Get this going. We're gonna protect the Kanger here. Hopefully one of them are attacking us. And it is gonna be Gyarados. Cool. Politoed should soak up whatever Annihilate Pass offer. It's gonna be Drain Punch. Thank you. Now we get off this Perish song. Now we get off this Perish song. We got Citrus Berry as well here. Yeah, they're just starting to set up. We need we need to calm this down. So we dropped the Perish song. Cool. All Pokemon who heard that song, they're going in three turns. The rain stops. HP's being restored. Um, we're gonna protect the Politoed. And to be honest, we're gonna try to protect the Kingdra. I think that's their best bet. The H Green's gone. Because honestly, damage output doesn't matter for me right now. It's all about wasting turns. So double protect is gonna be your call. Even if we go for, say, we go for an attack this turn. Then, uh, Annihilate Garrus is gonna outspeed and finish me off. So, double protect. Finish cross, Kingja lands it. I know Politoed's landing his. Politoed don't play no games. Kingja, land your double protect. Come on, yo. Land your double protect. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Waterfall's gonna fly here. We're wasting our turns. Oh, we actually survived. No way you don't double down. Oh my. We still have Kingja. So, I can just protect Kingja. Play this one slow. Good place one slow. We still have fake out turn in the back end, which is huge. And now I just need to protect Kingdra. Awesome. So actually, good news that you didn't you did not land that protect. And we're going for now with another double protect. We're just gonna spam it. There's there's just no point of us not going for this RNG here. And they just finally cancel battle. So there it is. Parasong clutching up in today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two in one for today's video. Ripping up with Swift Swim Kingdra and Parasong Polytoad. Actually came in clutch for us. In two matches, we dropped Parasong and it won us the match. Love this Polytoad. We also had Choice Baron Scissor. 
Choice Specs, Razor Bolt, and then Rillaboom, Incineroar, who are two Pokemon that always thrive out on the rank ladder as of right now. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.